meteorologist Mark Molnar is your host for Weather Northeaster, and let's get into some viewers sent in photos here. Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. Hopefully this is the onion snow, the last snow of the season. We've, we shall see because winter seems to keep dragging on here. But nevertheless, he got about 2.75 inches of snow. This was back on, I believe, Friday, March 20th, 2015. As you can see, snow was across the area, 2.75 inches, coated pretty much everything from the bushes to the trees to the grass, even the roads uh, in many areas. So it was a very wet snow, very packable, and it was very good for making a snowman. Take a look at this. He named his snowman Onion in honor of hopefully the onion snow across the Lebanon County area. So very nice snowman here, Derek. It was very packable snow, as I said. Excellent for making a snowman, and it may just be your last snowman for the season. We'll have to see because it's really hard to get accumulating snow deep into April with the higher sun angle, unless you get it at night, but even then, the temperatures at the ground levels are usually warm enough to melt a lot of it. Let's take a look at what we've got going on across the great nation and into much of North America. We're starting to see here uh, systems traversing into the Pacific Northwest. We'll get some light rains out of that, but it's here across the central and eastern Mississippi River Valley, eastern plains up to the Ohio River Valley and the mid-Atlantic, we'll start to see some heavier rain, mostly in the form of liquid precipitation and severe weather here in the southern plains, Oklahoma, northern Texas, northwestern Arkansas, extending northeastward towards the Mississippi River Valley and portions of western portions of Tennessee and Kentucky, especially during the day on Wednesday. We'll watch for that, but nevertheless, look at a solid one, two, maybe three inches all the way up through the Ohio River Valley here in mid-Atlantic portions of the Northeast, upwards of the one to two inch variety, mainly Wednesday into Thursday. Let's take a look at that trouble spot. The trouble spot will be Wednesday trouble spot wise here across the central and eastern plains here, Mississippi River Valley, portions of the western Ohio River Valley. We're getting in on the act of some slight to moderate risk of severe weather, especially from the Oklahoma City area, but especially east of there, just north of Dallas, maybe as far east as Linden by evening here over towards just west of Little Rock, Arkansas, and up towards portions just south of St. Louis as well. So watch out for strong to severe thunderstorms, main threat damaging wind, large hail, and maybe some isolated tornadoes likely on those severe weather slider scales here. So let's take a look at the surface maps extending into your Wednesday here across the Northeast. Cold air hanging tough across Northern New England, but it's here across the Susquehanna River Valley, particularly the lower Susquehanna River Valley. We start to warm things up into the mid to upper 40s, near 50 in some locations. It's further north we get into this temperature gradient, potential for some mixing or even some snow in the higher elevations of the Northern White Mountains and Adirondacks. But you see here, this front traversing across the area will spread Widespread light rain across the area heading on into Thursday. That front starts to sink and move to the east here, slowing down a little bit, getting into some heavier rain, maybe even some thunderstorms here across the southern Susquehanna River Valley into portions of Maryland and back towards the Appalachians, towards Pittsburgh. We could see the potential for some thunderstorms. Look at these temperatures warming into the 60s and many locations like Philadelphia, Harrisburg, over to Pittsburgh, but it's further north. Look at this temperature gradient across southern Canada. We could still hold in the snow across portions of Ontario and Quebec and maybe as far east as New Brunswick and clipping northern portions of New England. Shouldn't be significant until you get further into Canada with those accumulations in excess of 10 to 15 centimeters at least. But across much of New England, we develop the rain into Friday. That frontal system pushes all the way off the coast here. We get a much return to winter here. Mid to upper 30s, the rule for highs, turning blustier and colder. Maybe even some scattered lake effect rain and snow showers possible behind these fronts. Heading on into Saturday, high pressure starts to push out these systems 
just kind of cold and clear, although we start to see some hints of some warming trend here in the Ohio River Valley west of the Appalachians. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. I'm going to have a five-day outlook in 10 seconds. For my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton and Elmira, Susquehanna region of upstate New York, northeast Pennsylvania, don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com, Google Plus at MediaMark, and Twitter at WX Northeastern. Here's that five-day from Wednesday all the way through Sunday, taking you through your weekend. Look at this. We start to warm things up towards the mid to upper 40s. Rain moving in afternoon here. Maybe a quarter inch of rain likely with that light rain as that frontal boundary moves in from the southwest. The warm front getting warmer on Thursday. We might make it to an early high of 52, but temperatures falling throughout the day. Rain likely. Some of those rain squalls could be on the heavy side, hitting up towards a half to three quarters of an inch possible. Then we head on to Friday. Look at this. Temperatures cooling way down towards the mid to upper 30s into Saturday. And it's by Sunday we start to warm things up into the lower to mid 40s. Once again, overnight lows dipping down below freezing each night down to around 20 or 25 through the weekend. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.